Hi guys, in this video, we are going to see how to deploy the Copilot in the Microsoft Teams. This will be a very small video uh, because most of the configurations we have already done. We have already published the video. We have already seen how to deploy to the custom website or a demo website, right? Now what we are going to use is we are going to see how to deploy in Microsoft Teams, right? So once we click over here, it will ask uh, me certain details uh, like uh, this is the name that we want or if you want anything else uh, all those details and once we do that right we will uh, what we will do is we will uh, I think show to my team no I will just copy the link because I don't want this <laughs> bot to be available only for me not for the organization and I can in the organization you required your administrator to be approved uh, the bot right go by going into the power uh, uh, sorry Microsoft team uh, admin portal right over there or you can also upload by downloading the zip right if your company has enabled uploading external uh, apps to the Microsoft teams okay anyway so this is what I will do I will click over here and I will just click on this link and uh, it will ask me so I will continue to use my local one it will do all the sign in and I will pause the video so I get something like this screen over here uh, like the my uh, organization has switched to the new teams so once I click over there it will perform the switch new activity and I have to do that because it's not allowing me to go inside so I will do that and let's see how it goes so it takes some time to load the new settings so it's taking that much of time version v2 uh, then we will test our bot over there So now uh, I have moved over here and it will ask me to add the bot. I will give the permission. It does not require any specific permission. Uh, just read uh, the messages, right? I will click add. Uh, so yeah, this is how it looks now. I was just testing if it is working fine or not. Okay. Uh, so let me again put a high. I have put the high over there. And if I put uh, uh, like a flip cart shopping or item to buy whatever. And what we gave uh, like a Bata shoe. Not sure if Bata is available or not. Uh, let's see yeah it seems that Bata is not there I will ask something like uh, uh, flip flip cart shop and what the name we gave last time uh, Puma sneakers right so let's see if it this one comes back uh, so affiliated links oh this one doesn't work also okay so let's see if flight status work flight status flight status is which one Okay, let's see if we provide the flight status detail, uh, flight number. What we get in return? Oh, no, we are, okay, conversation ID, blah, blah, blah. Uh, maybe that carousel or this details that we are providing. Yeah, see, okay, so this one is okay. We got uh, the details for this adaptive card. For that adaptive card, we are not getting anything. Something unexpected. We are looking to error code. Okay. Anyway, and let's see if the generative AI is working. Uh, help me in pre prevent prevent measures for COVID. So let's see uh, if it's able to pull the information from 
particular document i'm not sure if this document is or this information is available it is available okay and uh, this display the information if i click over here does it give the citation no okay so citation doesn't work over here but yeah in a crux this is how we will deploy the bot in microsoft teams and you can have a conversation or you can create other features like a create a ticket or uh, send an email broadcast an email whatever the action or whatever the things that you want to do okay hopefully you like the video thank you have a nice day